Okay, so I was trying to do this a little a minute ago, but I couldn't get back to the regular TouchWiz uh, home interface. So now I'll go home, and it'll be TouchWiz. Anyway, um, so, and then I'll go to that. So, uh, okay. Anyway, if you need to know how to do that, how to change it, you just go to default application under general, and there's touch with and then the Google now launcher which I had uh, uploaded and uh, I would have hollow launcher HD but uh, I don't know on tablets it's kind of eh, doesn't really matter much but the Google now launcher actually goes to a full blown blown tablet mode when you do it uh, it's different from on the phone. I noticed. So, but I'll show you that some other time. Anyway, this is a product review of the Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 8 inch that I bought a little while ago, about a month ago. And, uh, so far I like it. I like it a lot. I have my center home screen here, like this, so I have a today view for the calendar and the month view for the calendar and then I have my Google Now widget and these ones that I do not want to uninstall I want Okay, sorry. Looking through this, so make sure that Google Now Launcher. Okay, yeah, it's still in there. But anyway, it runs pretty smooth for being what it is, which is not the uh, not the uh, like pro versions of these products. Anyway, uh, okay, so, let's go ahead and get out of those, and, uh, the menu, er, so we got this split screen, right, which is really, really nice, because you can put so much on here, why does it, Huh. You can put an extra thing there? That's kind of weird. I thought it was full. Anyway, uh... So, yeah. So, you can do things like, uh... Let's see... Go on to YouTube... And do a thing like Google Chrome, or you could go into creating documents. Or whatever you want. So, uh, yeah, um, see how Hancom off, off, Hancom word or whatever, H word, or I like the, uh, fact that you can do the split screen because then nothing gets kind of, oh, that's cool. 
So, uh, anyway. Because if you do it like this, it takes up the whole screen. So it's kind of useless there. But, if you do it like this, it's floating. And, you can, see, like I can have it all right there. Of course, you can watch your stuff and do this. At the same time, then exit out of that and do that. Anyway, uh, yeah, and things seem to work pretty smoothly. Uh, I don't play very many games, so I haven't tested that out just yet. Um, But it's a 720p screen, so the, the resolution isn't amazing, but it is not super terrible. I mean, yeah, you will see pixels and stuff like that, but, uh, you know, yeah, well. I see pixels even with the, you know, highest resolution was. So, uh, and... It has 16 gigs of memory, or no, yeah, 16 gigabytes of memory with the micro SD card expansion, I think up to 64 gigabytes. So it's, you know, it's, uh, it works, and it works well. Got my uh, apps here, but they're technically for phones, so that's for my business, by the way. Um, it's not too bad. And it supports multi-user mode, as well as the multi-window mode. Um, let's go into general, then we go to users, and we can... Oh yeah, press up here. So you can add a regular user or restricted user, you know, restricted profile. And of course, regular user, you uh, regular user, you can do anything on there, but it won't affect, you know, the other user. So which is me but yeah so you know and of course you got your power saving modes which you can pretty much set um yeah just screen mirroring apparently works pretty well um oh and so I have these, uh, you know, I have my widgets, or my, uh, control panel up here, and it's set the way I wanted, and, you know, you can get it pretty dim, pretty bright, do the sound and all that stuff. And hold down on here, you get to Google Now. And this one is, can't really see because it's not backlit. There we go. Right here is the, uh, you know, your recent apps. But if you hold down on it, well, let's say that you're in. Something with a menu. Come on, menu. Okay, if you're in something with a menu, it'll bring up the menu. So, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. And, uh, yeah. So, that's pretty much my device in a nutshell. And, uh, I would say that it's 
it works well enough for you to really, if you want to, to buy it. Now I will say this, so when you do this, it's you say, okay Google, okay Google, okay Google. See, and it won't do anything, because it doesn't listen, even though the thing's right here permanently. But, here's the weird part. Okay, so they could do, they could have it that way, but, let's say if I go back to settings, to general, to default applications, go to Google Now Launcher, watch this. Okay, Google. See, if it works perfectly without, you know, on the Google Now Launcher, uh, I don't know why it doesn't, they can't have it work on the, like, Samsung part, but, this is what I mean by different, uh, this is, has, uh, normally on the phones, it'll have, like, four, you have two and two, this one has six down here, and then the rest in here, so they don't need to have that. And of course, you can go to Google Now and everything like that. This is pretty fast, too. So, yeah. And you can still do split screen on the Google Now launcher. So none of that uh, craziness is taken away. Like, go to this, and go to... and go to YouTube again so yeah and uh, anyway I this has been my product review I would definitely say it's a nice device um, I'm going to see how it stands up against the Note 8 inch which came out a few years ago but I think it the processor was about the same as this so I don't know alright thanks for liking watching subscribing and uh, just doing what you do